Hi. I didn't expect to make an apology video this early on in my career. I know we joked about it in the past videos, but yesterday there were things said about me. There was a video that came out of me as well. I just want to say yes, the things are saying true. But before you start judging, at least hear my side of the story. I want to start off by saying that I am just a human like you. There's no difference between us. We all make mistakes in, my li in our lives. I'm still young, still figuring out life. There are some things I'm going to say now that in 10 years from now, I'm going to regret. There are things I'm going to regret a year from now. This is how life works. I hope you understand that. Now, I have a whole list of the things that were said about me, and we're going to go through them one by one. I want to apologize to a good friend of mine. I mean, when... Where we were in year one, we were in grade one. I, f I farted in class. It was a very nasty fart. And I blamed it on Amin. And ever since, everyone, they were calling him Farthead. This is my fault. This is the nickname that they gave him. And until now, I haven't addressed it until the accusations came out last night. Now, just because I gave out a nasty fart in the class at grade one, and I blamed it on him... <coughs> I ruined his life because to this day, everyone still calls on farthead and people don't know the truth. But in my defense, I was six years old. I know that's not an excuse, but I promise you, I will do better. I want to start by saying that I apologize to you. Yes, you who have been watching my videos every single day. I know I come off as this very strong guy with, who doesn't break this manly masculine guy. That sometimes I even tell you that I want, uh, if you do these things, I will slap you through the screen. I will slap the living shit out of you. I know I tell you that sometimes you look ugly and you look fat and you will die alone. No one will marry you and you should go marry your cousin. And I know I say these things. I want to take those back. I just want to say that it's all out of jokes, but a lot of people took that to heart and they ended up marrying their cousins. And I believe that is my fault that their kids are going to come out. <laughs> Well, you know how. I also want to apologize to Ahmed when we were in grade five. His mom made a very nice homemade burger for him. When he came to lunchtime, he looked inside and there was nothing there. The legends say he's still looking for that burger. He's 25 years old now, but he's still traumatized by the word burger and he still hasn't solved the mystery. I want to put his mind at ease and be like, yes, I swallowed that burger. That was one of the most delicious burgers I had in my life. I'm, so, I'm sorry if it wasted like so many years of your life. But I hope you know that. I was very hungry and my mom gave me an egg sandwich that day. So a burger sounds a lot better. This one is a really big apology I need to, to make to my friend Serena when at grade 9. We, it was the three of us. We were called the three musketeers. Me, Serena and some uh, other guy, Amir. Serena started seeing this one girl for months. And I found, I found out about it and I wanted to know who this girl was out of curiosity because we're all a bunch of bored nine year, uh, grade nine, uh, niners, I don't know what. Three of us were sitting in back of the class and talking all the time. Now, they were not telling me who this girl was, but Amir, he knew. After two to three months of torture that I annoyed the shit out of Amir to make, to make me tell you who Surena, this my friend who was seeing, he finally spilled it out which girl it was. And after I told Serena that I know which girl you're dating or, you know, you have a crush on, you're in the talking stages. And for some context, we always shared everything with each other because we were the bros sitting at the back of the class. But I was very confused for the fact that he wasn't mentioning anything about the girl to me. That's why I got curious. That's why I found out about it. But even after I found out about it, for some reason, he thought I was going to steal his girl. So he just came out out of nowhere and said, even if you try to talk to her, she will not even look at your direction. Even though I did not want to steal her, just wanted to talk. But since he challenged me, now I can't lie, I'm a very competitive person when it comes to these things. I love a challenge. And we made a bet on it. We made a bet on who can get this girl first. He said, I have no chance because he's been talking to her for four to five months. And they're very close. I want to apologize 
for the fact that she ended up at my place a week later. That is when our friendship ended and we haven't talked since. But that is the one thing people said that I was a very bad friend because I stole my friend's girl. But I think there's a lesson in this you can learn that you need to seal the deal as soon as you can or you're going to end up in the friend zone. Now, the last thing I want to apologize for is to my friend Fireboard for peeing in his guest house when I was 10 years old. We were having a sleepover and I was having one of those dreams when you're peeing in your dreams, but they're actually peeing in your real life. I haven't seen Fireboard after that incident that happened because the thing I did was after I peed all over the bed mattress, the whole thing was a whole... Uh, I want to say waterfall of uh, piss. If you squeeze that mattress, you can fill up a whole level of a pee. The thing I did with the mattress was I flipped it over and I laid it over there like nothing ever happened. I know I made your house smell like an expired Vimto, but I hope you understand I'm just a human. I just had too much Vimto the other night and my dream was very convincing. I hope you understand that I'm just a human like you. I made mistakes in my past. I've traumatized some people, yes. I've stole some people's girls. Yes, I blame some people for farting when it was me, but I blame it on them. But that's life. But since I'm a YouTuber now, I need to, any small mistakes I make or big mistakes I make, I need to make a YouTube apology video. So this was my first YouTube apology video. Maybe there'll be more in the future. I hope not. I will try my best to be a better person going forward and living the best kindest life to others and to myself i'm so sorry again that you had to hear this about me but i just thought i should give you my side of the story i know this video didn't have an intro so let's have an outro <laughs> hi i never <laughs> in my career <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I just want to, <laughs> I was so uh, I didn't expect to make it <laughs> I want to start up my <laughs> take those back I want to say that you are uh, <laughs> wait <laughs>